morning. Get the day get, get, get the day started. Monday, got that going for us. We got some stuff coming out from Hate Brand. Oh, I'm tired this morning. My ass up. I need to train today. Gotta get my life together. Kind of loose since uh, Nick and Allie got in town. They leave tonight. But today will be a little bit more normal today. I'm gonna get some work done. Sit in the hot tub. Get more work done. Train. Relax. To look at the production schedule, we'll see what we're dropping this week. Ooh, new travel coffee mugs. Yeah, excited about that. Also excited, we got samples for our, uh, hey ladies, the 5% the of you. Got samples of uh, sports brass. Pretty happy. All right, let's do this thing. Quick shout out to the people at TG Holsters. Uh, these are some of Nick's buddies, really able to hook me up and concealed carry stuff. And I want to say how much I like the holster I've got for the appendix carry. And if I can wear this and be concealed, then I'm very, very happy. This is kind of normal attire for me. It's comfortable sitting. Uh, I'm not showing. Very, very happy with this holster. Got some other cool holsters in from other, some other people and kind of as I continue on with this, I will show you them all and what I like about them. The big deal on this one that's great is this little wing. So this little wing, instead of your holster sitting flat against your belt here, right? This wing is gonna push it a little bit and drive a little bit more of the gun handle into your appendix, which slightly more uncomfortable, but hides the pistol way more. That's what I know about holsters, but Kydex, really like it. Nice, doesn't weigh anything. So we're gonna go run around town. Uh, they've got a flight at three, so we're gonna where to get some lunch and I go shoot some B-roll. So Nick and Allie have a three o'clock flight. 11.30 now, we're gonna go run around town, do a little bit of screwing off, and uh, take them to the airport. Probably get some lunch. I like food. Keto lunch, burgers, Woo! stuff, burgers and things. Yeah, stick to the plan. I did 20 minutes of cardio today, so let's roast the kumulatums. So finished up lunch, gonna bring these guys to the airport. It's 1.30, they got a flight at three. Yeah, man. Good trip. That's it. 
Friends are punching out. Good set. Gotta get the hell out of here. Good fun, yeah? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of lounge around in the pool. I just gotta get back to work and get some stuff done. We did work. We did things. <laughs> That time of day, back to work. Nick and Ellie are gone. Definitely got work to do. So gonna squat, play around with the vert pool. Got from Brandon Allen, really excited about that. Something else to hit the legs without stressing me too much. So we're gonna play with that option. Let's get to it. And back with the voiceover. So today's workout is really just gonna hit some squats some circuit type stuff and really try to hammer the posterior train play around with the vert pool a little bit so the vert pool is putting a little bit more pressure on my knee than i really, really care for but i can see like the huge benefits to that position like that style of a, like almost a box deadlift or a straight legged deadlift using it and good mornings as well i really can't wait he's less fucky and i can play with that a lot more with, the, with that, squats are feeling better uh, during this workout. Just really hitting volume right now is really all I'm trying to do. Since I can't do <laughs> intensity, uh, volume is really my only option, right? So it's lots of sets, lots of reps. I probably did 10 total sets of squats during this workout, anywhere from like 8 to 15 reps per set. Depending on how the knee was feeling and what I had just done before, before gassing out. <laughs> So it's just trying to keep the body moving and keep breathing heavy and the heart rate up the whole workout. You can see me playing with it there, trying to adjust and find out what position doesn't aggravate my shit while getting into a position that actually uses it. But all in all, pretty good stuff. Uh, ended up squatting up to 100 kilos, so 220 pounds. Body weight still right under the 245 mark. Uh, it's been holding there for some time, so I guess if I'm going to make a move to keep getting into the 230s, I'm going to actually have to give a real shit about my diet instead of just intuitively uh, doing as I think. Oh, look at that. That's artsy. Yeah, that's sunlight pouring through. Um, you know, these are the deepest squats in the world. That's okay. Uh, everything's a little choppy from years and years of being shit. Uh, hips and knee and, and ankles but that's all right though you know i don't compete in, in powerlifting and i don't right now and squats are going to be deep enough that i, I can build strength in the legs and uh, the mobility will come back the more that i can actually start moving uh, correctly and not walking with a limp but you can see here i ditched the box and actually did some did some squats uh some more stiff leg good mornings and some band pull throughs trying to get that butt meat to grow back Oh, stupid assault bike, and then yeah, squats, squats like that. Look at that! I even ditched the shirt. Let you guys see how shiny I am. Glisten. I basically look exactly like that pig from the last video. And assault bike, squats done. Like real squats. <sighs> Just felt like felt like doing it today. Gonna pay for that with the knee for a couple days. But now do some rehab, post-workout immediately, get in there and start sorting things out. I know the knee's aggravated. I've really pissed it off. So, power dot immediately, rapid recovery boots, tons of fluid, and try to get it cold. Get it like hot tub, pool, cold, like back and forth. Keep it moving, keep stretching. Just try to get some of that swelling fluid out and we'll be fine tomorrow. Can't say enough cool things about Nick and Allie being in. Really motivational, like, he's filming stuff and doing stuff for his channel, and man, having a second person to collaborate with and bounce ideas and thoughts, it's, it's great. Having someone come in is almost as good as to me as like leaving and going on a trip. But Iceland soon, and really stoked that we all got together for the thing that we shot yesterday or Saturday with, with, with uh, the concealed carry stuff. The whole production crew for Iceland's gonna be there, was there. Uh, really just missing Chrissy and Ben, but they'll slide right into it. They're fucking awesome, and I can't wait, can't wait for this trip. <sighs> on that note, we're done. Yay, good stuff. Squatted, squatted fucking 220 for a couple sets of 10. No, no weights. Uh, Use the vert pull, really liking it. Uh, getting crazy stretch to the hamstrings. It just still aggravates the knee more than I really want to, but that thing has got a lot of future in my training. Check that out, I'll link below to Brandon Allen. And I'm doing squats. It's normal squats, right? So road to recovery, 
Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. As always, hope you guys are enjoying the content. <sighs> Spread hate always party.